Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Amr Ikhwan from Bash Renovians XVII Generation 17, Faculty of Medicine and Health Science USIM. And today I would like to talk about resilience. So what is resilience and why is it so important that I have to talk about it today? So basically every of us has their own goals that they want to achieve, right? It doesn't matter what kind of goals it is. Uh, whether uh, goals in your careers, in your life, or even in your studies. Some of us might be dreaming to become a specialist in a certain age. Some of us might be dreaming to be in the dean list. And some of us might be dreaming to maybe, you know, lose some weight within the year. But you need to bear in mind, if you want to achieve all these goals, you need to first overcome all the challenges that come with it as well. If you can't overcome all the challenges, then you can't achieve the goals, right? So, what is the quality that you need to have in order to overcome all the challenges? The answer is resilience. So, what is resilience? Resilience is basically a capacity of, uh, uh, what you call it, overcoming the difficulties of your life. It's also your ability to withstand adversity and uh, bounce back and uh, grow despite life's downturns. I would say resilience is not like a trampoline when we are up at the moment and down at the next moment. It's more like hiking a mountain without a trail map. You know, hiking a mountain with a trail map is hard enough, it's tiring enough, right? But just imagine how hard it's going to be without a trail map. You will need lots of time, lots of strength, lots of supports from people around you. And sometimes you might experience uh, uh, setbacks uh, before reaching the top. But eventually, you reach the top, and once you look back how far you have come, you will realize that all those hard works don't betray you, and it pay, right? Uh, similar to resilience, it's not like you are born with it, it's not a talent. It's a skill that you can learn by yourself. You need lots of time, lots of strength, lots of support from people around you, maybe from people that you are comfortable with, friends, family, lecturers, or anyone. Right? So next, I would like to talk about five pillars of resilience. So basically, if you have that, if you have these five pillars, you can say that you, you have that resilience in you. Alright, so what are they? So five pillars of resilience are emotional well-being, uh, physical health, inner drive, future focus, and also relationship. So first, so basically resilience is an emotion-based trait, right? So it's not surprising that emotional well-being is the first and most fundamental uh, pillar of resilience. So what do I mean with uh, emotional well-being? It's actually how you understand, how you manage, how you cope, all the events that uh, occurs in your life, whether it is a bad event or good event. It also can, it also it is also can be interpreted by uh, the perspective, your perspective, how you look at things, right? Because even if people look at the same event, same incident, some of us will think differently, right? Some might think that it is a good event, and some might might think that it is a bad event. So, uh, you need to learn how to control your emotion so that your judgment will be correct, so that your perspective will be positive. Uh, just a piece of advice from me, if you are upset, if you are angry, if you are upset, or if you are angry, or if you are disappointed, don't respond right away. Do not make the judgment right away. Wait a little bit until you cool down, then you, ma you can make the action, you can make the response, you can make the judgment right after you cool down a little bit, right? So next, the next pillar of resilience is future focus. So what is future focus? It's basically uh, your ability to plan ahead. It's not like you can uh, predict, I mean, it's not like you can know what actually can happen or what actually will happen in the future specifically, right? It's just you can predict what's going to happen. Similar to uh, preparing for presentation in class, right? So basically, we will try to come up with sets of questions uh, that can possibly be asked by the uh, lecturers or friends so that we can prepare the answers beforehand. Similar to us or in our life, if you decided to go for a goal, then you might want to jot down all the uh, challenges that you might be facing in the future. 
and you can jot those possible uh, challenges uh, in a piece of paper maybe using the SMART method so what is SMART is basically uh, specificity, measurable, achievable, uh, rele relevant and time bound uh, and then next uh, inner drive so what is inner drive is basically your self intention so everything anything that happened in this world is based on our intention right even you are able even if you want to achieve the goals you need to have intention if you don't have the inner drive you don't have the factor that push you to achieve the goals then the goals can be achieved even when even if hundreds or thousands of people keep telling you to do this and that but if you don't have the intention to do this and that then it won't happen right because the one that moves your body, the one that take the action is you yourself, not people around you. That's why inner drive is important. With inner drive, you can move on from all the damages that happen in your life. May once you face uh, a challenge that hit your heart. So, if you don't have inner drive, then you might not move on from those incidents, right? So, the fourth pillar is uh, physical health. So, uh, what is physical health? Why is physical health is one of the pillar of resilience? Because I said just now, resilience is an emotion-based uh, trait. So, physical health is not emotion, right? Alright, so uh, let me make an example out of it. Uh, for example, when it, when we are hungry, when we are hungry, uh, our emotion are mm, unstable, right? Our emotions are unstable, we can easily get annoyed, we can easily get angry with people around us, even they did nothing. And our judgment is just incorrect, right? Because it was actually driven by the uh, emotion. Therefore, physical health is really important in order to achieve resilience, in order to achieve the stability of our life. Right, so the five... The fifth or the final pillar of resilience is um, relationship. So relationship here is not just a love between a boy and a girl. It's more like a healthy relationship. Yeah, and you can uh, make a bond with anyone that you want: family, friend, uh, colleagues, uh, s uh, or maybe fr with a stranger, right? A complete stranger. We want a relationship that can, you know, a healthy relationship where they will be with us every single time, right? Whether we are sad, whether we are disappointed, whether we are happy or angry, they will be right by our side, motivating us, advising us, and maybe become a great listener, right? And they won't ever uh, leak all your secrets to others. That is what kind of relationship that we are looking for so those are five pillars of resilience which are emotional well-being future focus uh, inner drive physical health and relationship so if you have these five pillars then you are resilient all right so to conclude i said uh i i talk about uh, what is resilience, why is it important, the five pillars of resilience. So I hope that my sharing today will give some benefits to all of you. And I hope we all can improve together gradually to a certain degree. And uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.